Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. For this episode, mostly, uh, it's just D Dirk's birthday, and we also want to trigger one of two random events. The one we're going to be aiming for is the test reward, but there is a random event that happens on Thursdays in the summer only during stormy weather. So, yeah, oh, and uh, our latest our latest silky chicken has grown up as predicted. All right. I actually forget when Dirk's birthday is and I should probably check. Just to make sure we're not giving, okay. So it's tomorrow. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't today so we wouldn't be giving him beer on his birthday just in case he doesn't like beer. Um, oh, that's right, we gotta, we also gotta harvest this stuff. So anyway, yes, the A Father's Inquiry random event, uh, it has very, very specific conditions. And so, if you get a chance to trigger it, if it's a stormy day on a Thursday in summer, then you should definitely go for it. But we'll see. Oh, actually, I should probably check. How's this tomato look? Four stars. So, yeah, um, that's, it means that it's gone up at least one full star, if not one and a half stars, and it's only the 11th of summer, so the chances of it, of us getting those regrowables up to five stars by the end of the summer is pretty dang good, I'd say. We don't really need to bell every animal every day, but there is a risk if we don't. And the risk is greater the lower percentage of the animals that we that we that we bell. I mean, if we bell less than half, then there's a 100% chance that at least one animal is going to lose friendship. Um, if we bell exactly half, then there is a very very high chance that there will be at least one animal that we bell both both days, and so. And so, some other animal is going to lose friendship. Um, but yeah, if we bell every animal every day, then we are guaranteed to not lose friendship with them. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, for me? Thanks. Okay, I'll get you something you like tomorrow. Oh, Ray. Hello. Oh, Herb Spaghetti. It looks wonderful. Thanks, Ray. And nothing new at the cafe, right? Ooh. Alright, egg rice bowl. Coming up. Hi, Ray, how are you doing? This is very nice, thank you very much. So the chances of beer being a favored dish of anyone is, or a favored gift of anyone is, is pretty low. I imagine if it was, it would probably be in the, in the version that is, that comes out of the windmill, rather than the one that you put in a glass. I don't like this, sorry. Well, that's not surprising. What is your fan elo? Come on. Four and a half stars for the corn. We're going to be able to stop fertilizing it pretty soon. Oh my goodness. This is this is the power of high quality fertilizer on regrowable crops. I keep I keep mentioning it because it keeps being very very relevant. It's so good. It's so good. Hey Ray, what are you up to? Taking a break from work? You remembered my birthday? Thanks. This is nice. Well, yes, I have a magic calendar that tells me when your birthday is, so don't even need to worry about it. And I think we have both of these. Yes, so let's go ahead and have some potato pancakes. And we didn't give Sherry her herb salad. Oh my goodness. How was your day, honey? It was good, except I forgot to even talk to you, let alone give you your herb salad, and I'm sorry, and... <laughs> I'm not being a good husband. Good morning. Let's make today a great one. And we can do that by starting the day with an herb salad rather than ending it with one, right? So it's Thursday. And it's raining. 
but it's not storming. So unfortunately, we won't be able to trigger the A Father's Inquiry event. And so, uh, uh, that'll have to wait for another week. And, I mean, hopefully we'll actually get a chance to do it. It's, uh, hard to say. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna check and see, just in case the information is wrong and it's rainy or stormy, but I don't think it would be. Oh, that's right, it's Thursday. Oh, Ray, hello. Do you mind if I... I'm in here out of the cold. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. And have my lunch here. Oh, that, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. Wait, I almost gave her a minute. Not how this works. Man, these are some pretty strong eggs, I'm not gonna lie. How do you even crack them? Potato pancakes. Stethoscope all the chickens. And get all the stuff from our cows and sheep. And then we're gonna I'm gonna go and check and just make sure that you can't trigger the A Father's Inquiry event when it's raining. That it can only be stormy, which Makes it probably one of the most difficult events to trigger. I mean, assuming girl gossip doesn't count, because of course girl gossip, you literally cannot trigger as Hansel. Because that song always, always crops up in my mind. And I just, oh my goodness. Well, first of all, who are you? Glaceon. It's happy and healthy. Yeah, it's, it's perfectly happy being out here, sleeping out in the rain. No, no, no. No, no, no. We're getting this wet wool off. Trust me, it's for the best. And then, you are going back inside. Probably should have waited until the end. Don't get mad at me. You were the one that was outside in the rain. I can guarantee you my doggos did not do that. And I can also guarantee you that I did not do that. So don't blame anyone but yourself, alright? Alright, will a father's inquiry trigger? No. Okay. Oh, well, we still need to give uh, Claude some flowers, but... Yeah, unfortunately... There isn't any way around it. It's gotta be stormy on a Thursday in summer. Which is... That is such a ridiculously narrow requirement, but... Oh well. Oh gosh. Yeah, sure enough, the pineapple- or the pumpkins were done this- this episode, but not on a day that I would like them to have been done. We kinda gotta hightail it over to, uh, Isaac and Ellie's house. We'll see. Hopefully this doesn't take three episodes to trigger, but we'll see. This is probably this row and and the row that I'm about to plant are probably the last of the pumpkins that we get to plant and harvest this season, just because they take forever to grow. Well, I've graded your tests. I'm so nervous. Me too. Cindy, you got a perfect score. You really worked hard. Great job. Yui, yes. Good job, Cindy. You both did very well. Even you remember your promise, right? Of course. I'll grant you any one wish as your reward. Okay, um, take me on a date. Um, excuse me? Uh, never mind, forget I said that. Even, um... 
what kind of girls do you like? Uh, what kind of girls do I like? Um... <laughs> well, women my age. Women who have worked hard and learned a lot. You see... Well, when I'm your age, I'm gonna be the smartest girl you've ever seen. That's a fine goal. I'm sure you will be. And so that is the result of the, uh, of the problems with math random event. <laughs> this. Cindy and Lauren are both good students. Mm, studying isn't my thing. But when you put your mind to it, you are, uh, very, very good at it. So, I don't know. Hey there, working hard, Ray? <laughs> it's so pretty. I like red wrapping paper, but Marion likes yellow. This is really cool, thanks. I know what Marion really likes. She likes the dishes that use herbs, especially speck. Oh, I'm not telling you. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I already know. Hey, yeah. Honestly, it seems like giving him herb spaghetti should be very, very positive, right? Like he should, he should like it as much as Marion does because he's like, oh yeah, I can give this to Marion. Jerry, I am so sorry. But I did not give you your herb salad. Mm-hmm. What is it, honey? This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. I wish I had remembered to give it to you earlier today. We're gonna go ahead and leave the puer tea in there until the bazaar. Oh my goodness. My goodness. We have max storage space, and yet we still have these storage issues. Now, of course, like I said, a lot of part of that is that we've got like a million different cooked dishes that aren't serving any purpose, and we forgot to get fertilizer at Rolls. Oh no, that's right, because Rolls isn't open today. Well, tomorrow's gonna be the Sheep Festival, but that's gonna have to wait until next episode. For now, that's gonna have to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.